part b, does the graph of f have a point of inflection at x equals 4 and justify your answer? So in order for g to have an inflection point, that means that g double prime needs to change signs. Uh, as we talked about in part a, we know that g prime is equal to f because g is equal to the integral of f, so if we sort of take the derivative of both sides, you get g prime, and the derivative of this integral, where the upper limit is x, just gives me f of x. And so this means that g double prime equals f prime. And let's look at 4. At 4, we can see that f is positive all around here, but f prime here is greater than zero because f is increasing and f prime here is less than zero because f is decreasing. So um, does it have an inflection point? Uh, yes, g has an inflection point. At x equals four since g double prime equal to f prime is greater than zero in the interval two to four. And g double prime equal to f prime is less than zero in the interval four all the way up to eight.